got to tell you, man, I really love Taika Waititi's style, man. Now, some people, some people, uh, uh, they're, they're iffy with, with his, his movies. Because I, I think he's one of those directors where not everybody really appreciates him the way he should be appreciated. You know what I mean? Because this motherfucker always knows how to balance the comedy with the action, with the emotion and all that. At least to me, this motherfucker knows how to balance that shit. Because mm-hmm. when shit is funny, shit is really fucking funny. And he never steps over that line of making things like corny. Like to me, the comedy always works. Like right. I love his style and his comedy. Fucking it, it that shit resonates with me. Like all of his joints, what we do in the shadows and all that. Like his style is fucking phenomenal. He knows how to make shit fucking laugh out loud funny. Where it, like yeah. Niggas was laughing in the fucking theater, yo. The fucking goats. Niggas was laughing in the fucking theater. Now, of course, we're gonna keep things spoiled free in the beginning. <laughs> but uh, I really, I really enjoyed the movie. It it balanced a lot. It gave a lot of lot of story. Updated on update us on what he's been up to since you know the last joint and the person he's become. Yeah, like I told you in the car after we left, I, I appreciated it. I didn't just like it. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. To me, that says a lot because when you say appreciate, it means that you're telling the director and the writer, look, you did one hell of a job. Yeah. He didn't overdo the comedy. Yeah. The comedy came at the right place at the right time. And his emotional moments were still heartfelt, mm-hmm. but he still gave you light directly after. And exactly. I know it was a sad moment, but look, be happy. Be happy. Like, understand this had to happen. But man, that shit broke, it broke me in half in a good way. It's, it's an enjoyable joint, man. Of course, like Chris Hemsworth, that motherfucker was born to play Thor. Yep. And it's one of them joints where it's like, no matter what else you play now, I see you as Thor now. At, like, at all times. Yeah, at it's like, times. nigga, you Thor. Like, I don't, I don't care. I don't care what, what, like, if I, if I, you know, bump into him and I'm, niggas go to LA, I'm like, what's up, Thor? I'm not going to say, Chris, hey, like, you know what I mean? You, you Thor now. Like, you're, you, you were born to play Thor, you Thor for, for eternity now. But Christian Bale, this nigga, yo. This this nigga came in on, on some on some sinister shit. Like it's like when that motherfucker talk, he's just creepy. Like I told you, he has those tiger teeth, and that scares me. Yo, that motherfucker is just creepy. Like he knows how to pull off creepy. And that m- mixed with his look. And and like, you know, you find out why he's doing what he's doing and all that. He's like, oh, okay, all right, well, you know, if, if I was in that business, I'd probably do the same shit too. Like, you know what I mean? It, it, it's one of them joints. And like he he played that role. He was a beast. <laughs> that motherfucker was a beast. And he started off as he started off as a reg, not a regular person, but he started off as a you know God's fearing individual who expected one thing from the upper people. He just turned into a I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. Yeah, it's like yeah, you know I mean, you see where he started and where he ended up, and it's like okay, all right, well, I, I, I get it, I get it. Yeah, you problem now, but I mean, I get it. But you know, what I mean, you know, you you just. Uniting everybody in a dynamic between Mighty Thor and and and, and Thor Thor is like uh, that shit was dope. Yeah, man, that shit was that shit was dope. It's like, I mean, you find out what's going on with that and, and how things ended up there. You're like, okay, all right, let, let, let's see how you, you know what I mean. It's how you take up the mantle, and she she was rocking it. The trailer, the trailer can can't even halfway show you yeah. how badass she was. Yeah. There. She. I'm just gonna say it, it was that shit was enjoyable. Like almost everything I say can be a spoiler, so we gonna we gonna wrap up the spoiler free section by by saying go see this motherfucker. Now you are gonna find people on the internet on both sides of the fence. Some people like it, some people didn't like it, and some people might be in the middle. I'm just gonna say go see it for yourself because like right now we live in a time where people gonna bitch and moan about everything, and this shit is just like it, it, it's really annoying now at this point. It's like I'm so tired of seeing it. Like I mean, uh, like it's just. You know, you try to ignore it, but then it's like sometimes that 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 voice starts getting really, really loud. That nitpicky thing, and mm-hmm. and where do we take one part of the movie that didn't like, and then now the whole movie's bad, or whatever like that, or they don't like the director. And I mean, it, it, it's that that couch director shit. So I'm just gonna say, just make your own opinion. Just go watch it and and see if you like it. I I liked it, but then again, I like everything supposedly. So it is what it is. So go watch the movie and and see for yourself. That she was quality, that she was funny, that she was dope. It had a lot of lot of different emotions, and I think you're gonna enjoy it if you really like like enjoy this 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 this, uh, this type of uh, uh, comic movie. You know what yeah. I mean? If you, if you really like like Thor, the characters, whatever like that. I mean, just 
Go go watch it. Make your own opinion. It felt like because of the imagery in this joint, the color scheme, it felt like I was watching a comic book. Mm. And I, I said, "Big, I enjoyed it." I don't. I don't. I I stopped caring a month ago about people who hate everything, and the people who hate people who like more than what <laughs> yeah. they like. Like you, you can't it's win. Like, what the fuck? You can't win. Either you <laughs> like everything, or you don't like something that they like, and now they mad you about that. Or, I don't give a fuck. Or or you like it. Oh, I can't trust you no more. Y'all like everything. All right, well, then don't trust me. Then get the fuck out of here. here. Then like, I'm not here for you to trust me. I'm here to say what I like. I'm, I'm here to say my opinions on the shit. Right. That's, like, I don't, that's what gets lost in translation. Sometimes it's like, okay, so. Now, 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 you can't trust my opinion because I like the motherfucker. Like, okay, well, kick rocks then. I really don't give a fuck. I, I mean, it's annoying it's that annoying, you see, but... sitting there and bitching and moaning, but honestly, that doesn't affect my my love of, of what I like. I enjoy shit, and if that's a problem that you have, I can't you help you with that. You enjoy life. You enjoy simplicity. Is that a word? It's a word, right? It's a word. Yeah, simplicity. it's a word. Shit, I got cursed out for not liking War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. I got cursed. And the I fuck liked out. it. And you, but but I never said, "Oh, why you like that shit? You're weird." No, I said that's cool that you liked it, but I didn't like it for me. I ain't curse you out though. We ain't fight. I, I, we don't. I, I, I got a best friend that likes uh, Independence Day Resurgence. That's your fucking friend. I mean, that, that's, that's my homie, though. That's my homie. No, no, no. no. That, that's that's, that's my homie. I hate the fucking movie. What the you fuck? hate the fucking movie. What that's still my homie, though. We're not going to sit there and fight. Like We might, you know, poke jabs every now and then and we'll go back and forth and all that. You're like a whack-ass movie. But, like, but yeah, I mean, it was just so love at the end of the day. Are you I'm, sure? not gonna, I'm, I'm not going to put him on blast. I mean, you know who you are. Did but they, Did they say this shit on April Fool's Day? Nah, they say year-round. Okay. They actually enjoyed the movie. You know what I mean? And it is what it is. That's, that's still the homie. You know what I mean? Nothing gets. There's no love lost there. People like different things. I accept it. You know what I mean, people need to understand that people like different things, whatever like that. Now, when 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 you start start doing the thing where you start nitpicking all that, like they what they what they do, not not to harp on this shit, but I gotta get this out the way. When when they 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 confuse criticism for 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 like bitching, moaning, and nitpicking. Like, and I mean they always confuse that shit. Like there's there's a fine balance between that. When you say, "Oh, this could have been better," and I like this and all that, look at that. That's that's constructive criticism, and that, that's a discussion. When you just say, "I ain't like that," that's whack. That's whack. Oh, it's trash. Oh, you like it? You whack. Then that's where you, you know, what I mean, where you might need to get your head examined. Like, I don't like this. It's annoying. And then when when people start just bunching up and and just start trying to down a movie, mm -hmm. that 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 mob mentality shit. That's really fucking annoying. And like right now, like people are getting spoiled by so much quality content. Now, now they feel like they're. They're in the position where they got to just fucking tear everything down. Mm -hmm. You got good things happening and you want to tear shit down. Like, just learn to fucking enjoy shit. Just calm the fuck down. Like, please, for the love of God, calm the fuck down and, and enjoy forbid, shit. For I mean, God like, forbid a movie that they are watching has a book that was out prior and it doesn't match every page in that book. They have a fit. It's like, damn, man, that shit get annoying, man. Like, I know people like different things. I get it. I, I live on planet Earth. I've been alive for a long time. I haven't seen it all. Like, people have, have different opinions. I know that. That's reality. But then it's like, there's a difference between having having a differing opinion and and, and and just like trying to tear everything down and then you don't like anything. You you tear that down and that down. And you like that one thing, but everything else is whack. It's like, that's a problem. That is an actual problem that we are having, and it happens with 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 the with the with people with the MCU movies with other joints. Like it's not just MCU joints. It's like a lot of stuff that that's actually quality, but people don't give it the time of day, or they tear it down, and it's really fucking annoying. Judging, it's just really fucking annoying. With that being said, <laughs> ran over. <laughs> this will probably be another one at a later date. They expect that, but anyway, end end of the uh, the spoiler free section. I'm going to give you the three, the two, the one. There's a lot of things I like with this movie, man. The the the, the fucking uh, the Guns N' Roses representation was on, on point. You know what I mean? Mm. With, with, with the names, with the music and all that. The music was used heavily. Mm. Names were used heavily. The themes were used heavily. Like, you know what I mean? The colors was popping. Except when they went to the one joint where the colors was not popping because there was no colors. Sat that motherfucker out. Shit was black. That was on some. Wait, Yo. Wait. Oh, my gosh. It's like... Like Gore felt like a, like a beast, like like he was he was a force to be reckoned with. Like you know what I mean? He show up, and got the shadow monster. You got like shadow spiders and all that. Like taking keys, out like of fucking rooms and shit. Like and by the time he really, you you like by the time he got the the uh, the the new Asgard, he done killed all these gods already. Like like he got he got bodies, yo. Slaughterhouse. Multiple multiple gods, like gods done, just dead by this time. So he's already been at it for a while, killing, killing, killing. And you get why, because like they start with his story, like him. And you know, I, I understand this shit, because like, you know what I mean? And 
I mean, people can even identify with that. Like, you, you worship a God and all that. And like his whole, his own daughter, his, like the, the daughter he loves so much. Like he was, he was sitting there like praying and begging, like, please let's help my daughter, whatever like that. And she checks and that's sad as fuck. Cause like, I mean, he, he they, they're embracing and all that. And she, she checks. And the next scene, she's buried and he's still like sleep next to the grave. You're like, God damn, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And then, and then, like he he sees he sees something in the distance. He goes and you know he got water and food and all that. He's like, okay. And then the guy that he's praying to clowns him, clowns him. Like mm -hmm. after he was just saying, like, yeah, my the, my daughter died. You know, the name of you and all. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. Fuck her too. And then that's when you know <laughs> shit get crazy. You know what I mean? The the, the sword that's right there. You know what I mean, he he hear these 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 voices like, yeah, kill that motherfucker. He's like, oh word, yeah, I got you. Cuts that motherfucker right in the neck, mm -hmm. cuts his head off. He's like, oh, well, fuck it then. Like, if that's how y'all are, if y'all don't give a fuck about us, I don't give a fuck about y'all. Now, all the gods got to die. And, and he, he said some shit that fucked me up. He said, um, we've been praying to you, worshiping you, um, doing what we thought you would want. And yeah. this is, you didn't care the whole time? That kind of, yeah. Like, I'm he sure. was pretty much like, you're here to pray to me. Like, I don't give a fuck about you. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Others will take your place. Like he was talking reckless, though. Talking reckless. Like he was talking reckless. Like you, you. That's why I say you get why he did it because this motherfucker, like, like my daughter just died. You, you saying this to me right now? Right. Like he's like, I don't give a fuck about you. You're supposed to die. Like there'll be another one. Like when you go, another one will replace you. Yeah. Word. Okay. But well, then now, you know what I mean? God butcher Tom. <laughs> yeah. That's 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 what type Tom was on. I get it. He said, if you're a god, the rest of the gods must act just like you. And he said, all y'all gots to he go. He said, get fucked. Yep. So, sword in the neck, decapitated, and he's like, alright, well, this, this, this is my purpose now. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make an example out of all of y'all. I'm gonna wipe all y'all out. Yep. Not just you, because if that's if that's what you're doing... They all doing it. Everybody's fucked. So, in, in, in his way, he was a hero. I mean, because he, he was helping people out. You know, so you can kind of get both sides of it you know, the way he went about it, he's, you know what I mean? But he, he had something he wanted to do. He was like, I got destroyed, and I don't want that to happen to nobody else. Like, I mean, if that's how you treat me, I that's how you, imagine. that's how all y'all treat everybody, yep. so fuck it. So then, you know what I mean? He, he, he was doing the damn thing. And he was a force to be reckoned with. Then you got the whole Jane Foss with cancer thing. That, that shit hit. I'm like, yo, what the, f damn, man. And she was, she was looking, she was looking bad, too. You see her, her and Darcy and all day over there just, just, just talking. I'm like, damn, man! man like, oh nah, man, that shit. Fuck. That that kind of. I had to, I had to sink in my seat. I had to sink, you know, because I had to get myself together. Yeah. Because nobody expected to watch this movie and see Jane going through that. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. With it. Nobody yeah. expected that. It really flipped the whole movie around, but it also gave her purpose. Yeah. And it put her on a path within that movie that was like, damn, that's what you're fighting for. I, I fucks with yeah, you. Yeah, like it gave her a reason to be Mighty Thor. Like, like she was seeking, seeking that because she thought that that would probably help. Like, I mean, sometimes, and that, we, we talk stage four. Stage stage four is a death sentence, and you know, frail human body. That's that's a that's a gut punch. I mean, so it's like you get to that stage, you're gonna look for anything that that you think will help. So mm -hmm. you know that the journey took her there. It's like. There's nothing else I can do. I may as well try this. You know what I mean? And 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 you know, I mean, Thor told Molnir to, to to protect her. So the motherfucker said, "Yo, come here real quick." Yep. Let, 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 let's do this. That gave her the energy that she needed to do all that. And her first entrance as Thor was oh wild. Gosh. You saw a bit of it in the trailer, but not it in its full glory. Like we never saw that whole hammer split into a different, like a million yeah, different pieces, and then, and then come then back and go through everything, and then come back. That shit was fire, yo. And she had her own identity, her all yep. to separate her from Thor. They they weren't like identical clones. Like nope. they 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 both had they they powers and all that shit. Yep. Man. And the way Valkyrie, um, what is his name, Valkyrie? Yeah, Valkyrie. The way she said, "Oh, Thor, you're, you're you're gonna love this person." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just to show her, her arms were buff, and she mm -hmm. just, I loved her. Yeah, look. yeah. The dude wrote this movie. Specifically for people who want to be happy. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that is the best way for me to describe this. This movie was to go against the assholes in this world who get mad about everything. This movie was colorful. It it, it, it brightened up your day even when you cried at mm -hmm. moments in that motherfucker. Yeah. It just it, it knew what it wanted to be, man. 
like it, it knew what it wanted to be and like and it was good seeing them together because they both love the fuck out of each other like even though he didn't say it and then you get to find out why they separated because this whole time i'm like well, what happened and all that you get to find out exactly why and mm-hmm. it makes sense because you know you know you get in a relationship you start getting protective and all that of, of your own self like I, I can get hurt from this shit like i mean you we, we, we put up walls and shit like motherfuckers do that that's some real life shit so they both put up the wall and then that's just it ends up just just you know colliding like that and they both kind of you know slowly go started going their separate ways and then she wrote on the the the, the note of doom nobody want to come home to that you read that like oh fuck and then that you know that, that that's that's it i'd have had about seven of those in my lifetime i had about ten i mean what the, what the chick that looked like yo did she wrote you one too no she didn't write <laughs> she sent me a text because you're dumb ass she put she put she sent you one of your pictures with a bullseye on it I'm like, hey, listen, it is what it is. Like, if you gotta take him out, then take him out. So when she when she go, when she come here and kick you in the neck, then I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm like, hey, man, you know, you you, you had it coming. You had it coming. You start talking reckless. That's what's gonna happen. I wasn't talking reckless. I was identifying. Her. Okay, well, she, if he show up in a mighty Thor costume, then you know what's gonna happen. You better protect your neck. She gonna look just like what's his name? Grogu. I always say his name wrong. Grogu. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna say his name. You still, you still talking reckless. No. Okay, all right. When you get flip kicked right under the under the joint right here, I probably deserve it. But she knows she looks like Yoda. She knows she looks like. Yoda. I don't know why you can't tell the difference between a face mask and real life. Like, like, are you that? What's wrong with you, man? Face mask and not even when she removes it, she looks like Yoda. That's why every time we watch The Mandalorian, every time we watch Boba Fett or Star Wars, anything, she gets mad. She walks out because she knows she's on the fucking screen. That's bullshit. You know it. You just talking reckless for no reason. You she know it. She should have been in this story. Movie. Okay. All right. Ne- next ratchet motherfucker you you talk to. Oh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make a whole mixtape about it. Oh, I ain't think you're ratchet no more. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I like you have a choice. I, like I, you have a fucking choice. I am making a choice. Ain't no way in hell you're gonna steal my toothbrush, my toothpaste in my mouthwash and leave me walking around here with um disappointing breath. Nah. Whatever. Bet my bet. Anyway. Like them coming together. And, and and hashing it all out and, and and getting it all out in the open and then even her telling him about about the you know the, the cancer and all that they that got them to actually embrace and you know what I mean yeah. and unite and seeing them fight together was like that shit was kind of magical man like that shit was on that shit was on point and even like you know heartbreaking scenes like like you know what I mean when when she like the he found out that it was it was it was, it was the hammer like draining her like and stopping stopping the healing and all that you know and seeing her sick in the bed he, he going to her and they had that that exchange he's like I, I can't let you do in good conscience I can't let you do this this is gonna kill you and her accepting that is like okay all right well you know go do the damn thing like that shit, that shit was just fire that shit was really really like emotional man and this is seeing seeing Russell Crowe Zeus like that shit that shit was crazy that motherfucker was wild he didn't even fuck either. They, gave, they they put a different spin on Zeus. They ain't the Zeus that I was hearing about when I was a kid. The <laughs> almighty Zeus. No, that was a they, fucking asshole. Uh, probably, you know what I mean? There's actual Zeus. I don't give a fuck where the orgy at. I mean, that, that type of shit. That, that's, that's what type of time Zeus is on. You know what I mean? That's what type of time he's on. The little kid that was sitting next to me was like, yeah, yeah, you, I'm um, just... <laughs> like, go, go over there. Go over there, go over there. Little kid like, yay! No, 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 no. 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 Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I, I no, no, you don't. Shut up, shut up. Shut your ass up. Like, they, the way that the... The way that the guys had a, you know, meeting area and they all sat in one joint was just well depicted. Like it was, it was dope to see gods in one realm mm. and they're having this meeting and to see Zeus as a show off and Thor's just like, you ain't who I thought you were. The yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking up to you. And this is this is the, the the reality. Say never meet your heroes. That's that's some real life shit too. I mean that that that's 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 what happens. But like it's just. It was just an enjoyable movie. Like it was a hell of a ride, man. I, every time them goats was on screen, I laughed. Yeah, I laughed. I laughed my, like because it was just so obnoxious. Like some <laughs> things, some things just so crazy. Like you just laugh every fucking time because they was <laughs> every every like they were they was they was going through it. Even when they was fighting, like they oh, they was they was they was in there. They was fighting with them too and still yelling. Loyal as shit. Oh, yeah. And what made me I don't know if you laughed as hard as me when they landed on the Shadow Realm planet, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. They was how they, they hollered loud. It's oh Yeah. <laughs> it's like they was yelling, but you understood what they were right, saying. You understood what they were saying. <laughs> that Everything shit. was oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> that shit was just funny. <sighs> that shit was just hilarious. Even even uh scenes like like when when um when Heim, Heimdall's son, like like hopped on on the, uh, you know what I mean the 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 the, 
what, what am I going to call it? The uh, his his own version of a communication device. I mean okay, that, that okay, type of shit. Okay. I mean, so like, yo, we need help. What's the fuck going on? Right. Call me Axel. Like, I mean, <laughs> oh, I want to call you. No, Axel, nigga. That 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 type of shit. I mean, once again, the the Guns N' Roses reference. I appreciate that. But like him talking to the kids, like that that shit. <laughs> that shit was funny because like he was stressing them out even more, even more. than they already was. It was like, nigga, we scared. Like, yeah. hey, go, go, go away, go away, go away. Go like, you, you're not helping. But, no, uh... No. Like, Don't be scared. Wars can happen. <laughs> like, come on. Like, stuck. Just, it, it, it took him a while to, like, like be, be able to, like, approach them properly. But, like, you know, I mean, that, and even, even when Gore was talking to the kids, like, he didn't give a fuck. Like, the way he was... He decapitated something right in front of him. <laughs> He's like, oh, you like, you like your motherfuckers without no head? <laughs> Wop. What about this? You like this? Yay! Just the head dangling. He you like this? Kids. Like this? There you go. Like, I'm like, God damn, you asshole. was rolling on the kids. I was like, oh, shit, he don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this, like this, huh? Yeah. Jesus Christ. But, yo, it's just, this shit was really enjoyable. When you think about it, he wasn't, okay, this is where the arguments start. When you look at his reason, he really wasn't evil because his main focus was the gods only those he didn't want to fuck people up yeah he didn't care to destroy cities and planets and shit he had a mission he mm-hmm. he really felt like the gods ain't shit yeah once he met the actual god that he could have swore was making life better for him and his people it destroyed him at least he was only focused on him though yeah it, like he was he was a hero in his own story because like yes he kidnapped the kids he didn't hurt them though like he yeah, he, they using his bait. He, he, yeah, they 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 were bait to bring Thor and and and, and the Stormbreaker <laughs> there. Like he didn't hurt the kid. Like he scared the fuck out of him, but he ain't, he ain't hurt him. Like <laughs> oh, the only thing he actually killed were gods. Honestly, if you look at it like yeah, that, gods. Yeah, I mean, does that make him a good guy? No. Like, does it make him the worst villain we've ever seen? No. Like he's still a villain because not every god deserved it. But like in his mind, he's oh. like, I was treated this way. Fuck it. I mean, this is my call and this is my purpose. Fuck it. You know what I mean? And like e- even when, when Valkyrie uh Lady, Mighty Thor and, and 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 Thor were there, like he was able to see everything. It's like gods don't really care about you. Like like did it help you when this happened? That happened. Like he's sitting there just naming stuff. Like he he knew he knew what was, what was going on. It's yeah. like he's the reason why, like, pretty much they, they knew that 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 Jane's powers being like like drained from from using that power like like he he's he's the reason why I mean so it's like you look at it it's like and I understand why he was doing what he was doing like I get it unfortunately that doesn't align with like you know what we need so it's like you 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 going against I mean you can't wipe us out you know what I mean because right. we ain't do shit we ain't do shit so it, it 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 was just it was just wild I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like 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 bullet point every scene from this movie i'm just gonna say i enjoyed the fuck out of it i i fucking laughed i laughed and then they got they got moments where i you know i didn't say nothing because i just had to sink down the seat i'm like all right okay let's let's let play out i mean motherfuckers doing doing the ray charles thing looking left and right i'm like okay you got me james this is the spoiler section of this mm-hmm. when jane had told main man that his daughter won't be alone because he made the wish to have her back when Jane told him that she won't be alone, I burst into tears. Mm-hmm. Because literally, I'm watching this little girl come back, knowing Thor's going to take care of her, but then I'm watching Jane. It ruined me. Because if you've watched these movies over the years, Marvel mm-hmm. movies in general, you look at certain characters like, damn, I've been with you since 2015, yeah. 16, and now... Yeah, yeah. So when people say movies and TV shows can't affect you it does i'm sorry this is what great actors do yeah they make you feel like you know them and makes you care for them you care for the person that's in that storyline yeah it's it's that combined it's great acting combined with 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 having empathy and 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 feeling what characters are going through and and you know understanding the situation and then you know just just feeling for them like you put yourself in that moment you know what i mean that it affects you too it affects you too, seeing her like that, and 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 even 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 Gore who was going through so much pain, and and which led him to do what what he did, you know, and he 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 got right there. He was about to make the wish, 
and and Thor was like, "Fuck it! Like if you're going if you're going to kill us anyway, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna spend my last moments with the person I love." Right. And, and that's what really got to him. He's like, "Wait, what? Like you know what I mean that's it 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 it, it turned everything around." Like it opened his eyes. He said, "Hold up." You know, I, I know some people are gonna probably nitpick and like, "Oh, the power of love, Seder." Yeah, but yeah, I mean, love is a powerful emotion that it can it can change somebody's thought process. It can do all kinds of stuff. like, how many things got got destroyed or saved from the power of love in reality? You know what I mean? So so don't don't discount it like it's an emotion that like you know the throwaway emotion. No, nah, that shit's powerful as fuck. That's the 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 sole reason why he was doing what he was doing anyway. Because of love, yeah. He loved his daughter. So I agree with what you're saying. It's the same thing in real life. Um, you have two people who are not speaking. But all it took was communication. Mm -hmm. You can say, you can say a few things, and you'll have the other individual like, "Damn, we weren't talking for no reason. All I had to do was hear that." Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's what it takes, and and he was able to bring her back and see her one last time before he checked. Yep. But which is the, the one thing that he wanted that 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 made his day. You know what I mean? And and that now now she she she's growing up to be a badass. Her, her and Thor doing the damn thing, you know what I mean? He got, he got a daughter, she, she got an uncle, so she and, and and she's strong as fuck strong too. As shit. So, you know what I mean? We 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 doing good out here, we doing good. And then and then you you you, you get a Hercules tease in, in the first post credit, and which is crazy to me because Hercules is a strong motherfucker. He's actually in the MCU now and being played by a badass actor. Which uh, <laughs> she who is the actor? Uh. If I got it right, he's from he's from Ted Lasso. Like if I if I got if because he, he he looked like the guy from Ted Lasso. He he he's another show you gotta watch. Mm. Ted Lasso is a fire show. Hold up, man. Like I got one glimpse of him, and I think that's him. I got I gotta look to act, see the actual name, but I, I I think I think his name is uh, Brett Goldstein. I think, but yeah, if, if I if I'm right, that he's from uh, Ted Lasso. Phenomenal actor. Like so that that's gonna be that's gonna be great. Like he's in the MCU now. Yep, Red Ghosting. That that's yeah. I'm I'm hype. I'm hype for that. And then in the second post credit scene, you you get you get to see her like in Valhalla. She actually yeah. made it to Valhalla. Like imagine that shit. She actually yeah, made it to Valhalla with 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 your pops. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now he's like, yeah, welcome. Hey, let's just show. Kick our feet up. We you know. They need to, Marvel needs to place me in the next Thor movie. Let me be the older version of his son. I'm his son in real life, but so you want to time jump and then you you want to hop in to do what? Just let me just. Can you imagine people seeing me on screen? They might think they seeing him all over again. Just like that. Pip, give me some dreadlocks. Do whatever you need to. Give me some brown light eyed contacts. I'm gonna look just like him. You don't need the dreadlocks. You, you will need the contacts though. The and I don't. You don't need dreadlocks. Why do you need dreadlocks? No, you're afraid. I'm gonna. You're afraid that I might look like Makai Pfeiffer and um. Eight mile, like I, I won't. I promise. You better not. You gonna, gonna, gonna bring the whole movie down. Then they gonna have something to complain about. People already bitching and whining now. They said you dumbass and dreadlocks. That then, what, what am I supposed to say? You right. Fucking okay, Eminem do a review saying, "Yo, don't you ever <laughs> in your fucking life." You hear me? Just <laughs> roasted me like that. Right. Being sixteen mile, like <laughs> we, we, don't, mile. We, we don't need no fucking <laughs> sequel. Like he he, he come back. <laughs> <laughs> you get one chance, one moment to not fuck this up. And you did. Damn, this is a good movie. Yeah, I love it, when it, I fall in love with a movie. Man. It, it was just really, really enjoyable, man. It was really enjoyable. I got to go see it again. It was, it was our first Dolby Cinema movie, and and that that shit is crazy. I, I was wondering why people just you know stabbing about Dolby Cinema all, all this time. It's like the, the picture crazy, the sound crazy. It's like you hear, you really hear, like. But Man, I, was I wasn't expecting to get both. I thought that Dolby would just focus on the sound. Now it's both, but pure quality screen. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like it's like you can you can dive in that motherfucker. Like that shit was wild, man. Oh my gosh, Shorty that was wearing the tube top in front of us. Oh my gosh, yo, she was saying how much she wants to come back and see it again. I'm looking like, yo, let me go with you. I just wanted to tell her that, but she walked out so far. Wasn't fast. she with somebody? Nah. You sure? I think it was her brother. I don't yeah, okay. All right. The way they were sitting. Cool. Make, make that mistake if you want to. I'm not bailing you out again. I mean, I, I, it wasn't like I could really ask. It wasn't like going to do hop in, hop in front of the seat in front of me and say, hey. You did it before. So, and I ended up in a cast, so. I don't, don't, don't fuck up the Dolby Cinema experience. Like, the first time we've seen that shit, I'm glad you didn't do no dumb shit. Because I'm like, you fuck this shit up. 
when we can't go back and we get blackballed from another fucking theater. Don't fuck up Cherry Hill. Anyway, mood was fire. Had a great fucking time. Laughed. Felt felt really emotional. Had to hold back tears a couple a couple uh-huh. parts because shit did hit kind of hard. But like it was a really enjoyable movie. It's like like whatever movies you make, I'ma watch them because like your, your style is phenomenal. You know you you really know how to do the comedy. Like when the shit is funny, it's fucking funny. Yeah. You know how to do that shit, but you know how to balance it. What's so, him who came up with the screaming goats? I, I just want to know. Like, who I said mean, that? most likely because he put wild shit in everything he do. You know what I mean? He put hey. wild shit in, in, in everything he do. Have you seen Jojo Rabbit? No, and I was supposed to watch it last year when it came out. Yeah, you got to watch Jojo I Rabbit. Watch. That was his movie too? Yeah. Oh, shit. This motherfucker wild, yo. He's wild. Jojo Rabbit. He's wild. He don't give a fuck either. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. But uh, yeah, whatever whatever projects you got, I'm watching. Consider consider me a a a uh, a permanent viewer of whatever you you uh do you you make. I mean, whether you direct and produce and whatever, like I'm, I'm watching all of that shit. So what is you know, he, consider um, me a fan. What is he nationality was? And this is just me trying to. He's take from New it. Zealand. He's from New Zealand. He's a uh, what they call a Kiwis. Yeah, he's a Kiwi. I, I think that's what they call. I'm if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But. I mean, I've heard that name thrown around, but yeah, he's from New Zealand. Okay. Oh, sure. But yeah, motherfuckers is wild. So uh, you, you, you consider, consider me a viewer for life. Yeah, well too. done. And whatever joints you got, you know what I mean? Niggas gonna be there. Definitely gonna be there. I'm not like the other guns of kill. Because I have something worth fighting for. Yo, he looks crazy as shit. Hey, Jay. Let's see who you are. I take off your disguise. And flip. Muscle. Oh, oh. oh. Flip too hard, damn it. Muscle. <laughs> 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 I mean, eventually. Great. 